Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Well guys, um, I'm trying to get ready to make an order for all the drywall I need. Um, but before I do that, uh, I think I want to also order the flooring um, for the whole living room area over there. And then of course for the, um, the kitchen area over here. Get the camera focus for us. So for the kitchen area over here. Um, so... What I was thinking about doing um, is uh, pretty much just carry the whole scheme all the way across. This thing is going to be just easier just to, you know, lay the same scheme all the way across. Now I'm thinking, I want your guys' opinion really, um, especially for a lot of you guys that have the different situations that I'm about to talk about real quick. Uh, the pros and cons of both of them. Um, of course, you guys can see my flooring is plywood, right? Um, now, initially I was thinking about um, tile. Uh, I'm still thinking about it, right? Um, but also, I was also thinking about maybe hardwood floors. I can get them in different patterns or different styles, different colors. Same thing with the tile. Um, but with the tile, uh, the tile is going to require a lot more work, right? Because, I mean, um, ideally, you'd have to put down... Some people will say yes and no, but ideally, you have to put down concrete board, right? Uh, and then go ahead. You're going to have um, thin set. You're going to have your tile. You're going to have grout. You're going to have all of that stuff, right? So that's going to create, of course, more weight or whatever, but that's okay. But just a lot more materials, right? And a lot more time, a lot more money. Now, um, the hardwood floors, um, I don't necessarily need anything underneath it. I know on some places they put like a cushion underneath. So the hardwood floor itself is not just solid hard. It kind of gives a little bit. Um, but then I've heard some bad things about that, that the... If you put that underneath, the floor will squeak, you know, because the boards are moving a little bit and it will squeak. So I'm not sure if I want to do, you know, that padding idea, but maybe just, you know, just pure hardwood floors would be fine, you know. So I don't know. I'm thinking about those ideas. If I went with the pure hardwood floors, it it, I, it, it would still look very nice. You know, it's not going to be particle wood stuff. It's going to be the, the real stuff, of course. But um, I think it's just going to be a lot easier to um, deal with, right? Um, I don't I don't need to get a tile saw or anything. I still got a tile in my bathroom, so don't get me wrong. I am going to use tile in my bathroom. You know, I, I have to. But um, for the living room and for the kitchen, you know, ideally you probably want, you know, tile in your kitchen, right? But um, I could easily carry the same scheme all the way across, you know? And I think it would just be a lot easier to um, assemble and put together in a whole compared to all the extra materials and labor that's going to take the tile all this now it's not a big job by any means you know but um i'm just i'm just talking out loud here guys trying to get some feedback from you guys what do you guys think what do you guys have in your house do you guys have tile i know i know a lot of places have tile i've lived in places that have tile and, and they're good and all that um but pros and cons too right um now hardwood floors i've been in a lot of homes that have had that um, but I haven't lived in those situations in a long time, right? So I forget about, um, you know, the pros and cons with them. Um, the one thing about tile and hardwood floors, they're just a lot easier to maintain and clean, right? Instead of having carpet. Carpet is just going to get dirty. It's going to get messed up. Now, here's the thing, though. With carpet, carpet is cheap. So you c it can be easily replaced over time, you know, over, you know, years or whatever it is, um, you know, compared to the cost of tile or hardwood floors. But... Um, I am thinking about just going with tile or hardwood floors, so I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I went down and I was looking at options yesterday um, for tile and or hardwood floors. They have some that are like, like the tongue and groove style that you can snap together. You know what I mean? Um, you know, tongue and groove style. Um, and that kind of locks the floor in, you know, all the pieces together. So, I mean, you know, that's an option, right? So, I figured since I'm going to order the um, drywall... I might, which, whichever idea I decide to go with for this flooring, I just might as well have them, um, you know, bring it out, load it, I'm going to pay for it, load it up and bring it out the exact same time. So that way I'm not wasting my time and gas and my labor to load it all up from over there, you know, and all, and, you know, truck it over and then unload it again and all that. If I just make the order, they come and deliver it, then me and my worker can just basically just bring the stuff up in here um, and start working on things. My, my idea, though, is I'm actually going to try and have them. I don't think uh, um, it depends on what machine they're going to bring out to um, lift up the material. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to make it anywhere over here because it's just too high off the ground. My, you know, my porch is pretty high. Um, so I'm thinking the only area 
that they're going to be able to um, get close to is going to be right here where my vehicle's at. So I need to move that scaffolding out of the way. I got some things on the ground, of course, I need to move. But move the car out of the way and then right here. That's kind of the other reason why we didn't put any railing on just yet. Because, you know, depending on what we're doing, we may need to have access going in and out. The last thing you want to do is put railing and then you're tearing it down because you need that area for a big item or heavy stuff, you know. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. So, you know, if they bring it out, I can have them lift it up as high as possible. I'm not saying they're going to go all the way up. If they come all the way up, perfect, even better, right? But if they can't make the height, this is the lowest point of my home right here, um, as far as on the porch side. Um, you know, it's just going to be a, if they can bring it up as close as possible, it's going to save us a lot of lifting, you know, because if we have to bring every single piece from the ground, all up the stairs, come around, I mean, it's doable, yes, but it's just a lot more hard work, you know, a lot more strain on the body, you know, so ideally, let's see if we can just have them lift it up as high as possible, and then from there, we can transfer from there, right across here, and either walk it right in here, or, you know, whatever, you know. So I don't know, I'm thinking about these options here, but I just figured uh, if I'm going to place the order for drywall, I might as well um, pick up the flooring, you know, two birds with one stone stone type of deal, you know. So yeah, I'm just kind of stuck. Give me you guys feedback, what you guys think. Um, go with tile or go with like a really nice hardwood floor style. I did like a lot of the, that's the one thing though. Um, the tile, you have a lot more options as far as color scheme or, um, you know, light, dark, um, all of that. I mean, you can get light and dark um, hardwood floors too, um, but there's not as much options compared to the tile, right? But there's pros and cons to both aspects. So, um, you know, I'm trying to debate that. And these are the things that I have to live with for, you know, a long time, pretty much forever, unless I decide to rip it all out and put a different scheme in down the road, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. It's like I'm 50-50, guys. I'm kind of leaning towards both. You know, like, I like both of them, really. But um, the only thing that I don't like about the tile is that it's just a lot more work involved, right? Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I did measure it out. So I have a rough estimate. I think it's... Uh, in fact, let me pause the video. Let me get my, get my paper and tell you guys how much square footage I have here. So I just looked on the paper. We're um, over 600 square feet. In this area here um, but of course you're gonna always buy I think it's like roughly 10% more material um, because you're gonna have not every piece you can just slap in right you got to cut you know certain pieces to make everything stagger and make look, everything look nice right so you're gonna have cutoffs and you're gonna need extra and stuff like that so I'm gonna add 10% more to that so we're looking at maybe I don't know it just depends uh, it well, it depends on the material too right because the, the material tiles come in different sizes you know widths and lengths and also the hardwood flooring also comes in um, a lot of different sizes as well, I've seen. So, um, you know, that varies as well. Um, but yeah, you know, give or take, say, 650, uh, maybe max, yeah, about 650, I think I should be okay. Maybe 600, yeah, about 650, I think I should be okay. But if I need to get more, that's fine. It's only going to be like a box or two of whatever it is I'm getting. But I think I'll be pretty close to there. Because it's a pretty, like I'm not making a whole bunch of cuts, right? There's nothing here. It's just a pretty much just plain canvas here. Move all this stuff out of the floor and I can start laying everything down. And work my way all the way to the kitchen here and to the front door. So, um, yeah. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Hardwood floors um, or tile? Yeah, hard decision, you know. Um, not, not not only a hard decision, but of course it's going to cost you know some money. Um, I think the hardwood floors would probably the hardwood floors technically would come out more expensive per square foot of material on the actual like flooring material itself. But when you start adding up the tile side of things, it will trump the the cost of the hardwood floors because they have all that extra material, right? Um, you know, uh, concrete boarding. Um, you know, thin set, um, grout, um, all of that, right? So that adds up even more. So, you know, there's pros and cons to every situation. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I'll debate these things. And maybe I'll make a video deciding my decision here. Uh, and then um, I'll definitely, you know, document the process of um, having all the drywall and whatever I decide to go with for my flooring here. Um, something like that. Now, keep in mind, there was something I kind of wanted to do, guys. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I want to put a world map in the floor so that way everything was actually like north to south to east to west you know everything was actually lined up um you know gps everything so i don't know maybe it's going to be too much trouble but anyway tell me what you guys think see you guys on the next one